Greetings, everyone. Well, I have an interesting story for you today. You know, I have a lot of unusual dreams and, you know, it's just a matter of figuring out what is the Lord saying in this. But this morning I had a very short dream. I, you could even say it was a vision, but of what I saw was a herd of baby hippos coming out of the muddy water and they were coming on to dry land. <laughs> there were no adults. It was just all these baby hippos. And as they come out of the water, of this like muddy water, they were kind of shaking the mud off of them. Okay. So that was it. Very short, very clear. So I started looking like, okay, Lord, what are you saying in this? Uh, you know, if you read in Job 40, they, it, like verse 15, it starts talking about the behemoth which uh, God made and he eats grass like an ox and his strength is in his hips and his power is in his stomach muscles and his tail moves like cedar and his sinews of his thighs are tightly knit and his bones are like beams of bronze and his ribs are like bars of steel. You know, this is a mighty animal. The behemoth is considered to be the, um, the hippopotamus, okay? So, Here's some things I learned about the hippo and what I believe the Lord is saying in this. These were babies, okay? Like I said, I did not see any adult hippos, but the babies. Uh, I believe this is a new generation, the youth that are coming up out of the muddy, murky world system, okay? These are, there was a lot of them. So they're coming out of that world system but they're coming forth in power and might, okay? They're going to be strong in the Lord. Uh, the ancient word, the ancient Greek word for hippopotamus was river horse. Now, do you know that these baby hippos, they are born in the water? Isn't that neat? The mother gives birth to the babies, their calves, in the water. And this would speak of Holy Spirit. These are babies being born again and filled with the Holy Spirit. They are very thick skinned. Their skin is like two inches thick. And now that's to protect them from number one, from the sun, the natural sunlight, and from the enemy. When the enemy comes to attack them and their natural enemy uh, is usually the um, Oh, let me see, the crocodile, and the lion, and the hyena, okay? Now, even in that, in the attack, they attack the babies. They can overtake a baby quickly. That's why the, the adult hippos are very protective of those babies. And I think that speaks of the older generation today, my generation, the one younger than me, um, we have got to be standing in uh, the gap for these kids. We need to be teaching them, helping to raise them up, not criticizing them. Try to understand them. They're trying to understand us. You know, we're different generations, but we have got to try to raise these kids up and protect them. They come forth with a lot of zeal, but they don't have the wisdom that they need. You gain wisdom through life. So we need to be working with them and for them and not against them. Okay, so they have this, hippos have a two inch uh, layer of uh, skin to protect them. And I think these kids, these children that are coming forth now, they're going to be thick skinned against the enemy. They will withhold or withstand the fiery darts of the enemy. A hippo's eyes, ears, and nose are on the top of their head. Now, that's very interesting. Um, they can be in the water. They're not good swimmers, but they can be in the water, yet have their, their feet on the ground, or, you know, on the bottom of the water. Uh, and then their head is above, which speaks that they, they can be multidimensional, these, these youth. They can see and hear and taste the things of God while they're grounded on the earth, okay? 
um, they access that heavenly realm while they're grounded here on the earth. Um, they're very aggressive, but they protect their calves. And I think these kids are going to take territory for the kingdom of God. They have a big mouth. Okay, they have a really big mouth. Think about that with the hippo. Their teeth are like 20 inches long, and that is for attacking the enemy. And I think these kids are going to open wide their mouth and let the Holy Spirit speak through them. They're mammals. You know, they nurse off the mother's milk, and these kids are going to be uh, not only taking in the milk of the word, but also the meat. Um, they have power and might. They are going to come forth without restraint. And, uh, you know, they're, they're called a river monster, you know. <laughs> there are animals in the natural that want to attack the hippo. And just like we have uh, many people that are going to, you know, the church is going to attack the little ones coming forth because simply because they don't understand them. If they're not a spirit filled church, spirit filled believers, they're going to totally misunderstand the youth. And that's why we, as being the older ones, like I said, in this quick dream or vision, I did not see adult hippos, but we must be there and we must be helping to raise up this generation that's coming forth because they're coming forth in power and might, but they need older ones there to help guide them. They're coming forth, they're thick skin, like I said, they're going to have no fear, okay? But we've gotta be there to help them out, all right? So uh, just look forward for the youth coming forth. I've seen it myself, some of them are coming forth. I got near some of these kids, <clears throat> and it was hard to stand up because the power coming off of them, it was it was powerful. All right, so help, help, okay? Don't be a poacher. That's one of the things, you know, they have poachers that are coming to take the, um, the tusk or their teeth, you know, their ivory teeth, and they want the skin, they want the meat, but you know, we have got to be there to help them out. Uh, Jewish legend <clears throat> speaks about the righteous will witness a battle between the behemoth, which would be the um, uh, hippo, and Leviathan. And of course, Leviathan represents the devil, but this is in the era of the Messianic era. And I think that's what we see coming forth right now. It's a battle of the ages. It's a battle of righteous and wickedness. Okay. All right. Till next time. Be blessed.